Hi, welcome to Opsimax Spinnaker training series. In this video, we will see how to uh, integrate Amazon S3 with uh, Spinnaker. So in our previous lecture video, we have seen how to uh, enable manage and managing account and how to configure accounts in Spinnaker so that we can control or deploy an uh, instance and application in AWS. But uh, as a feature to AWS, there is an option called Amazon S3. Amazon S3 is nothing but it can hold object towards it. Let's say you have an artifact or uh, you have a you have a package which needs to be uh, uploaded in Amazon S3 and you want to reuse that uh, uploaded application to your Spinnaker pipeline, which you can do it. And uh, for that, um, you have to uh, log. Let's say I've logged into uh, Amazon S3. Uh, console so uh, search for services and type s3 we can get s3 so navigate to s3 now so in this video i'm going to create a bucket empty bucket and i'm going to put some um, um, applications or package or artifact into it using amazon cli and then i will configure amazon into spinnaker to use it so f as a first step we're going to create an uh, s3 bucket so click on create and uh, we're going to give the bucket name let's say in our case spinnaker hyphen tutorial so that's the bucket name and if you notice the region is under us west west 2 there are multiple regions so according to your specification and the policies you can um, add it but right now i'm going to keep as default us west 2 and if you notice down by default this bucket is not accessible by public since it's a demo and tutorial i'm going to enable a public access but on your production please uh, use your uh, respective security guidelines and proceed i'm going to acknowledge and uh, create a bucket so this should uh, this this should create a bucket which is an empty bucket and the bucket name is uh, spinnaker tutorial and if i navigate inside towards it you can see it's an empty bucket. I'm going to take a note of the bucket name so that we're going to reuse it in our uh, video in, in later in Spinnaker. So I will take a note over here. So this is the bucket name. So now log into uh, the Spinnaker. So this is the Spinnaker last time we had installed. And um, uh, and I've already uh, in the GitHub, um, I've copied uh, the content which is uh, we're gonna upload it to the S3 bucket and it is under artifact directory. So there you can see that is called artifact zip file. I'll show you the same thing in the uh, Git as well. So this is uh, the Opsimax Spinnaker tutorial kit. If you navigate there, you can find a folder called artifact and inside that artifact, you can find this artifact zip file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract this file and push all the content of the extracted zip file to the s3 bucket and later on in the upcoming videos we're going to use it uh, in a pipeline and deploy an application okay so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to unzip this file since this is a local machine i'm going to unzip right now unzip and the file which is here done you can see there is a folder called artifact i'm going to navigate inside towards it yes there are um, fold files and folders if you see uh, clearly it is a kind of a Debian um, metadata format so uh, after uploading I'll show you what are the content it has so right now to interact from your uh, Linux CLI to S3 we have a tool called AWS CLI we're gonna install it to install it we have to run a command called sudo apt I can get install AWS CLI so this should install AWS CLI so from the Linux terminal you can access and control your AWS and S3 settings okay it should take about a minute to um, install so once it is installed we're gonna configure the AWS credentials to AWS so to do that we have a command called AWS space configure so this command will help you to configure AWS inside uh, on a Linux terminal. If you run this command, it will ask you to enter the access ID and the secret key. So uh, if you 
go to my previous videos you have uh, know or you have already created how to create the access key and secret keys so supply that uh, keys here and then proceed to the next step I just gave all the details and if you see here I've just given the default region name as US West 2 and then hit enter and now to verify whether you had configured correctly or not your S3 since you already ad uh, added your uh, AWS settings AWS username password so to verify it AWS S3 LS this will list all the um, uh, objects whichever they are there and if you uh, search for the one which we created spinnaker tutorial it is also there so the next step we're going to do is we're going to upload the artifact content inside the spinnaker tutorial to do that AWS S3 we're going to sync the entire one which is on the current directory to S3 colon slash slash that's a URL kind of one copy paste the bucket name and hit enter so this command will push all the files and folders inside this directory and sync it to the S3 bucket if you see here uh, we're gonna upload one Debian file node demo app uh, Amazon uh, AMD 64 that dev file so we are uploading this file inside to the Amazon S3 so this is how uh, you can upload your uh, files to S3 using AWS CLI so next step is to verify whether it's uploaded or not so I'm going to navigate to uh, Amazon console go to Amazon S3 and uh, search for the spinnaker tutorial which you created right now there you go after you click inside since it's a public one you can see the uh, objects which you pushed from um, the machine so main and the node node demo app the Debian file so in the upcoming uh, video series we're gonna see how to utilize this Debian app and deploy a, a sample node uh, application this is nothing but a packaged uh, node app which will just print hello world so in, in the future videos I'll tell you how to do that uh, by utilizing this one so so far what we have done is we have created an um, empty uh, S3 object and inside that object we push some of the content uh, from Amazon CLI so far we haven't uh, added the S3 settings to Spinnaker to do that I've already created a notes uh, for uh, training material so go to Opsomex, Opsomex Spinnaker tutorial and go to notes and under that AWS HAL command uh, dot text click that you have an option to edit and uh, proceed with your S3 content so the command is HAL config storage S3 and you're going to edit the reason why we are not doing add is by default when you install Spinnaker in my previous video we have noticed and enabled Minio towards it so what we're going to do is we're going to edit the S3 as in uh, storage for the for this one and the next thing is you're gonna config uh, the type is s3 not the menu so these two commands has to run which will ensure the spinnaker will use s3 as in uh, uh, backend or, or a storage providers I'm gonna copy this and put in my notepad and uh, replace with your username and uh, uh, password and then it will enable you to do it so uh, I'm gonna edit that now okay I just uh, added the access ID key just copy this one and go to the spinnaker machine and uh, clear the screen and paste it and it will ask you to enter the uh, AWS S3 credential which you will supply right now I'm gonna paste the credentials and hit enter so this will uh, edit your uh, persistent storage to S3 and uh, the next command we're going to do is hal config storage edit s3 type copy and paste so once it is done we're going to verify it whether the s3 is enabled or not to verify the configuration we can go to the home directory dot hal config file and search for s3 key value so if you see here the persistent storage type is s3 and you can see the username password like access key and secret key but also see the endpoint over here and if you remember 
while at the time of installation of Spinnaker, we gave Minio as a uh, persistent storage. That season it is still available there. Just uh, delete that line because we we are not going to need it anymore as a uh, Minio as a uh, backend to S3. I'm going to delete this this line and save that file. Yeah, I'm going to save the file now. Okay, so now. To make the changes reflect to your spinnaker, we have a command called sudo hal deploy apply. So this command will refresh all the configurations and uh, whatever changes you made to your um, hal configuration will be pushed to the spinnaker. And your spinnaker will also be aware of whatever changes we made. So with this, I'm going to end this uh, S3 integration with spinnaker. I'm going to see you in the next video chapter. Bye-bye.